Hi everyone, it's Dana and we'll be practicing for upper back release. Now the upper back can get really tight if you're texting or you're typing or you're sitting or you're driving. So that's pretty much all of us now, right? <laughs> so we wanna get some slide and glide back into the shoulder blades, being able to move on and off your back. And I hope to get you some length and a little bit of yummy back bend, open up your chest as well. As remember, one of our guidelines is everything's related. So sitting in a comfortable way, you can even be on a chair if you want. On the inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears like you're really afraid and then drop your shoulders. Inhale, roll them up and let them go. Bring your palms out now like you were scale. Roll your shoulders up and now send them back with direction. So we're bringing them on the back and opening up the chest. Let's try that again. Inhale, roll your shoulders, you're gonna come forward and then slide your shoulder blades on your back like you're trying to kiss your lower shoulder blades together. You might look up, you might have this beatific moment here. Let's do it again, inhale. Good. Now bring one hand behind your head and the other can come to the side to stable you. Coming into a side stretch, breathing into your side body. And then if it's feeling all right, why not play with the elbow moving forward a little bit and moving back. So you're not just moving and breathing in two dimensions there at the side of your back, but you're looking at the muscles just in front of that area, behind it, breathing in. Oh, I'm going a little deeper, feels good today. Come on upright. Let's look at second side, hand behind the head, get your spine long, and then lean to the side and your elbows pointing up towards the sky. If all is well, playing with moving a little forwards and backwards. And I'm keeping my, my low belly in. And coming on upright. If you're crossing your legs like me, cross them the other way. And let's look at a twist, lifting your arms up, twisting to the side. And in this back shoulder blade, try to retract your right shoulder blade. It takes a little bit of effort and you could certainly push against the floor or chair if you want. Then inhale, bring your arms up to the sky, get a little taller in your sides, and twist to the other side. Inhale, bring the arms up, and meet me on hands and knees. For your cat cows today, Try popping onto the tips of your fingers and moving your fingertips a little closer to your knees than you normally would. So you're rounding your upper spine a little bit more, your thoracic spine. Now your cat is, you know, on Halloween day here. It's so scared. Inhale, retract the shoulder blades, cow pose. Exhale, round in. A couple more. Now on this next cat pose, stay and try to breathe into your mid back. Imagine my hand is on your mid back and you're pushing away my hand with your breath. Good, good. All right, puppy pose, we're gonna paw our way forward. The hips are more or less over your knees and many of us will drop the elbows. That would be great. Some can bring the chin down. If that bothers your neck, feel free to take your forehead down instead, but think of your sternum. Your breastbone is being really heavy here. A piece of gold dripping down to the earth. Now press into your forearms and roll forward into Sphinx pose. 
hug your heart forward. So you might feel this in your lower belly. And drop one shoulder, look over the other way and play with stretching your neck by nodding your head. Coming to center, draw your heart forward, drop the other shoulder, nod your head. Coming through center, bring your hands down close to your low ribs, press your way up, and let's look a little bit more at using the arms to stretch the back and the back to stretch the arms. First starting with a little seated tricep stretch, bringing one arm across, and you'll see that my hand is above my elbow, and that helps me draw in this upper arm bone, this humerus. The left shoulder blade might slide off the back. I find that if you round here, it's, it's not a crime. The yoga police aren't gonna come in, right? See if you can breathe into that area wherever you need your stretch. You'll see here in the studio, I'm, I'm loving dropping my head today. And then open up like you're gonna give someone a hug. Retract the shoulder blades, open your heart. And then let's look at the other side. And we're looking to breathe into the back upper lung. That deep breath, that's a way of breaking up the tension from the inside out. Release, open your arms in a big hug. And then see if you can lace your hands behind your back. And if this isn't possible, you can always grab a belt or a kitchen towel or something and hold it in your hands. This one is just so delicious, guys. You can slide your shoulder blades on your back and perhaps you can feel this opening, very optimistic opening across the chest. Breathing there. Good, and you'll see I'm playing with seeing if the hands wanna come a little higher today. Releasing that. Just see weeding your arms a little bit. Have you got a little bit of slide and glide in the shoulder blades? This is causing a, a stress response, right? So we wanna break that pattern and do something weird here instead. The arms are so supple in humans, right? They can do all the things. We wanna make sure they, they get their due, they get a chance. Now I'm setting up for a tabletop. Notice that I'm turning my fingertips to the outside of the mat. That gives me a moment before I come up to bring my shoulder blades onto the back and really lift my chest high. And then if it's feeling good, kick into your heels and lift up to your tabletop. I love to rock, allowing this opening to come across the chest and down into the front of the shoulders. Maybe you're a little bit more static or your hips are a little lower or higher. See what feels good. And then bringing the hips down, we're going to take a couple forward folds. I adore the Janu Shirsasanas. This is so yummy for your lower back as well. I place my foot on the inside of the thigh. And you know, I always say if your knee's talking to you, give it some, give it some help and put a pillow or something underneath your knee. I'm gonna to turn towards my right leg and fold, or even fold a little bit over to the leg, to the right side of the leg. And here I just want my arms to dump off the back and to be super passive. Letting the breath move into that area. And slowly making your way upright and moving to the other side. Sole of the foot together, turning towards the left leg, forward folding. And instead of reaching, which is more of a low back stretch, think of just kind of letting the arms hang and reveal the upper back.
pressing your hands down to the earth. Bring your legs out in front of you and find a pillow and you're gonna place your pillow lengthwise behind your back, All right? So you know we're gonna, we're gonna kick back, right? <laughs> as soon as the pillow comes out, you're like, yeah, we're close, close to relaxing. Come on down and line it up with your spine. You can draw in a knee here and take the knee across you for a spinal twist, opening the right arm. And let this right arm be heavy. To the center, other side. Opening up the opposite palm. Feel it out. Do you need your arm on a higher angle or a lower angle today? Finding that sweet spot and breathing there, relaxing there. And then for the resting posture, your Shavasana, consider keeping this pillow underneath your spine, open up your chest. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more elevation underneath my head and adjusting my hips so my low back shouldn't feel overarched. It should also feel very supported and opening and free. Bringing your awareness back to the instruction. Floating your eyes open a little bit. Stretching the arms even more over your head. Kicking through your heels. And slide your feet on your mat. Even press your thighs away a moment. And roll to one side. Pressing your hand down, coming up to sit. And just curious, it's a practice. So sometimes we have to check and see, did my practice today, did it invite a little bit more freedom in my shoulders when I roll them? Or I might test out a little twist, back bend, forward fold, just checking out those actions, those directions of the spine. Accepting any gifts that have come from your practice and bringing our hands together in prayer, we'll seal this with an om. Breathing in. Om. Thanks for moving with me, and thank you to my teachers. Namaste.